I'm so, oh my God, you answered in sync in unison. In, in, in unison. That was amazing. We do have that, that sometimes. We're uh, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> so wait, I know we're all moms. So are you looking forward to summer? Like when kids beginning out of school? I'm looking forward to it so much. Yes. 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 You know what is, you know that morning rush? Right in that, that 45 minutes from wake up to out the door. No matter what you plan, somehow you're matter. still in a rush. Yes. And the packing of the lunch. I hate the packing of the lunch. I'm lucky. My daughter loves to pack her own lunch. What? So, yeah, she is very controlling about it. Yeah. Wow. wow. Anyway, I'm excited about summer. Y'all doing anything fun? Yeah. Oh. Yeah? We're doing, we're doing family trips. We have we a big family trip. Mm -hmm. I love that. Okay, we're doing a family trip too. Um, and it's just called at my ranch the whole time. Oh. <laughs> I just want to be on a four wheeler, and I just want to have so much fun. I just You're want doing to be like out. a staycation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm never there, so like I'm here right now, so I'm very excited about it. But I, I don't know if y'all feel this way, but we're in a city, right? A lot of the time, so it's nice to get out. That's yes. why I like to do it. Do y'all do that? Do you like yeah, to get, get out? Yeah, get into the nature. Mm -hmm. Yes, my the family nature. has a farm. <laughs> I've heard get out in the nature. the nature. We get into yeah. the nature. <laughs> My family has a farm in North Texas. Oh, uh -huh. what? Yes. Like where in North Texas? Okay. okay, you take Highway 287. Yep, I know. Oh my God, you just said 287. Farm to Market Road, oh right? Oh my God. And it's like outside of Wichita Falls, about 400 acres. I have friends that went to Wichita Falls, like uh, college. Yes, Midwestern State. Yeah. What? Yeah. yeah. No, no, nobody? You're like, I don't no know, one? nobody? No one? Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. But I, I love, love that because we get out there and the kids are like, can we just run? I'm like, run! It's so cool. Go. I love it. Yeah. Okay, you got to keep learning so much. I know she I loves know. the nature as well. I love the know. nature as well. <laughs> um, well, as working parents, do y'all ever do you have a hard time with the balance of like feeling like the guilt of like not being home, but also you love work and you got to work. It's um, always a balance, I think, for is. everybody, right? Yeah. I feel like that's one of the things we trade messages about all the time, strategizing. Mm -hmm. Strategizing how to be where you need to be for work and how to be home when you need to be home for the important stuff. Yeah. And um, many years ago, I was working on a new show called Splitting Up Together, and they, they came to me and they said I was going to have to work on Halloween, Halloween night. Yeah. And my kids were little at the time. Like, Halloween was everything to them, you yeah. know? And, and for me, too, I wanted to put the costume on yeah. them and take them around. And I, they told me I was gonna miss it. So I called Angela and I was just, oh, my mom heart was breaking. Yeah. And she had well, an idea. Well, I just said, what are you doing Sunday? Because I have it planned. So I, I guess I told her what she was doing Sunday. Uh -huh. I said, come over. I talked to my neighbors and I said, my friend's gonna maybe miss Halloween. Will you guys help me out? My kids dressed up, we dressed up in our costumes. Our neighbors, I got candy for everyone. And her and her kids came over in their costumes and we trick or treated my street. Yeah. That's so nice. I, I mean, I, early. She made a little Halloween for me, and her neighbors were the sweetest. My neighbors were but so But I mean, wonderful. that's the best friend, right? That she, is a great she saved friend. Halloween yeah. And it, was, it was so sweet. Aww. And you're right, though. There are those like pivotal moments when they're little. They love, they only like that stuff for so long, right? Yeah. It's only like so cool and fun so long. You wanna, you don't wanna miss one. Yeah. So I get that. That's so nice. My neighbors are the best, I have to say. I was that. gonna they say, really also your together. street. Bravo. I know. <laughs> Good neighbors. Yeah. Good neighbors. So you had a lot of Hollywood first together on The Office, like first red carpet, right? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait, what happened? <laughs> it was a hot mess. Well, it was, called, it was called Pause for Style. Like pause. Meow. Oh, it was animal related. Meow. Yeah. Yes, okay. it was okay. for an animal charity and um, it was a fashion show mm -hmm. where the dogs wore the outfits. Yeah. So I the love that this was your red first carpet. red carpet. Yeah. She invited me. She said, Ange, I got invited to a red carpet. I was like, oh my gosh, well, I have to get an outfit. I got so excited. And I opened the card and a little <laughs> dog picture came out. Like a dog picture in a sweater. And I was like, what is this? Yeah. And I then when we walked the red carpet, it was, first of all, actually a wooden floor. Because there was the dogs tinkle. Yes. So they needed this a is smart. Right? Yes. And, um, and I brought my dog. So the whole red carpet, I'm like holding a dog, which was, he was. Well, it's fitting, right? Yes, but he was, he was like too big to hold gracefully. Yeah. He was like a medium sized oh. dog. And when I got to the carpet, there he a, is. There he is. Look at me. I'm like holding my dog on this yeah. red it carpet. It looks awesome. I love we, you brought your dog. We did our own hair and makeup. I went and got my outfit. I, I got two turquoise tank tops, because that's what you do. One at Target, <laughs> and I got one at The Gap, and I layered yeah. them. And I layered them because I'm oh, awesome. Oh, hey. Yeah. 
So it's a and little. The, Angela's holding two purses. It's because I was like, hold my purse. I yeah. have to pick up the dog. Yeah. So uh -huh. she's got two purses. It looks and I'm like wearing, you're like in a purse ad. I'm wearing my mom's shoes, which were a size too big. So I had to do that thing with my toes where you hang on. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So wait, you guys created rules um, for award shows and events. So what are your rules? Oh yes, this, this is, is our book. Yeah, we we're very excited about okay. this. Yeah, actually, a lot of this we, we kind of talk about in our book, but okay. um, we, we kind of had to learn how to be at these fancy shindigs, shindigs. together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so we came up with a bunch of rules. One of them is eat Definitely before eat. you go. They don't. There is you. no food there. And there's a lot of adult Food beverage. is important to me. And even yeah. when they have food sometimes, I'm like, you're talking the whole time to people, so you don't actually get to eat. You know like what they're like? They're like being at your wedding. Eat. Like yeah. you're the bride and you, you do nothing but take it. pictures and talk to people, you never eat the food. Right. Yes. But yeah. you'll drink That's a glass of wine yes. as it goes That's by. That's not good though, Problem. then your empty stomach. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's We've right. seen yeah. those people at award shows. We have. <laughs> yeah. We might have been one they're of those kind people. Of fun. One I was going to say, they're kind of fun. Maybe one time. Have you ever had any <laughs> wardrobe malfunctions? Yeah. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> yeah. I did yeah. too, I've had one. What was your... Jenna's is really good. Okay, so at the 40-year-old Virgin premiere, yeah. um, I had this dress. It was a lace dress that had like a turquoise slip underneath, and then it had a big sash that came down yeah. the front. Yeah. And um, before I did the red carpet, I had to use the restroom. And Angela said, don't pee on the sash. Don't pee on the sash. I was so, so worried I, about I the sash the going sash in the toilet. Yeah. And then I rushed out to the red carpet. And when I got inside and I took my seat, I was like, why do I feel so much of the seat on my tush? It was because I had tucked the slip into my yeah. underwear. Yeah. And if, if you, you look at that picture, close. you can see my Target undies. Yeah, look. Okay, do you see, see the white spot? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Those are my target But here's undies. the thing, it just looked like a little gold lace trim kind of going yeah. on right there. It yeah. didn't look like, yeah. that was, I, this my favorite is. part is you have no idea what's going on and you're just like, check I'm out like, my yes. ass. <laughs> they're, they're like over the shoulder and I'm like, you got they, it. They always yell that to me and I'm over like, the I got you over the no shoulder. Now. I say no. Yeah, it's not, not attractive. That. I don't look yeah. good being like, oh, yeah. this is casual. Like it's no. like, no. I was game. I was like, sure, over the shoulder. I think that's early on. I was game early on and I'm just like, this is Look, yay! Yeah, oh, that's all I got. <laughs> like, yeah. That's what I do now. Yeah. I say yeah. I, I picked one pose. This is the one pose I'm doing. Yeah. yeah. At it's least this. your boobs that's didn't it. almost pop out. Your boobs almost popped My out. My boobs almost popped out. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Wait, um, wait, wait, what? When? Okay, I got a fancy dress. It was the year I finally, someone gave me a dress. I didn't have to go to the mall because yep. I did that a bunch of times. So I, it had a train, and I didn't practice walking with the train. Yeah. And so what happened was I stepped on the train, and then I stood up. And when I stood up, I was like, why is my dress still down? And I kept going like this, and then that happened. And then a bunch of people snapped, and I grabbed my boobs. First of all, you look gorgeous. Oh, thanks. And that, yeah, I'm yeah. like, if they're falling out or not, you look beautiful. <laughs> is that, did your heel, my stiletto gets caught in the lace. Is that what happened? That's what happened. That happens to me all the time. It happened to me yesterday yeah. on the show. I literally always, I don't know what I do. I like play with my feet down here. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. Well. But it happens. It happens. Yeah. And it's. It's a moment that you'll live with forever. I wore a dress one time, it was so close. It was so tight, like it looked good. And it was like, I don't know, right, close after idol. And I was like, oh, it looks so great. And I was like, God, this is very fitted, right? And then I had to get a car to like go, whatever. I had to lay, I was <laughs> laid down, like just like pretending like life was normal. They had to like, somebody had to like get me out of that. And then I like proceeded to like mermaid walk down there. And I was like, this is not me. What are we doing? <laughs> anyway, you mentioned your new book um, and it's about the office. I love y'all so much. This is so great. So what made you want to do this? Well, it started with the spring cleaning mm -hmm. because I guess we're sort of hoarders. You are. A little bit. We save everything. You know, like if you go to a movie and you get the ticket stub or you, you know, save, save it. I save stuff. So I had For the what? I had the Kindling? Ticket. Like what are you <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god. I also save baskets and Jenna saves old lamps. So that I'm convinced I'm gonna rewire them. Are y'all gonna like start an antique mall business? Like what I you... would love that. I love I do love an I antique. I love that. Mall. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, so we had all this stuff and we're like, what do we do with it? We should do a scrapbook or we should you know, I mean, we had thousands of pictures thousands. from the office because we brought our cameras. Old school. Like old school cameras. Yes. yes. And so we started compiling all of it and, and we were thinking about stories we could tell and we really wanted to do sort of a combination memoir of our time on the office and memoir of our best friendship because that's where we met. Yeah. And that's 
how we became best friends and we had all these firsts together and we yeah. navigated life and motherhood and all mm -hmm. kinds of things together. So we put it all in the book and I, I think there's it. something like 400 of our personal photos yeah. in there. That is so cool and such great, like in, in you know, behind the scenes for fans, you know? Yes. Yeah. It's such a cool thing that you did. I'm so bad at taking pictures. I literally, we celebrated my son's birthday last night. I, I think I took one picture. Like I'm Kelly, I, call us. I'm not. I will <laughs> come over. I'm not good pictures. at it. I'm not like a picture taker, like my, of myself or anyone. Else. I'm just like I guess in the moment. But it's it's nice to live in the moment. But then I'm always sad because I'm like, oh yeah, what was that like? And then I have no pictures. Well, so. you know what I do right out of the gate. I say, everyone, we're getting a picture right now. Okay. And then we get it, and then we have fun. Well, especially because everyone looks good in the beginning. That's right. <laughs> That's exactly right. And the night wears on. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you've been friends for almost 20 years. That's amazing. So yeah. what do you think, what do you think, like, the best part of your friendship, like, I'm so glad that she was there for me in this moment. What, what's one of those moments? Oh, man. Well, we talk about this in the book. Um, when I was in New York once with Angela, we were doing press for NBC for The Office. I fell down some stairs and I fractured my back in four places. God. Yeah. And um, she is who rode with me in the ambulance to the hospital. She held my hand uh, when I got a catheter. My favorite thing was the nurse was like, would you like your friend to step out while we give you a catheter? And she said, I'd like her to stay and hold my hand. Oh my God, I that's like, exactly I what I said in my head. I was like, leave. don't leave yeah. me. No, yeah. someone's about to do something to me. Stay right here. Like, <laughs> yeah, but yeah. she advocated for me with the doctors. You know, my family wasn't there. And um, mm. she slept in a chair in my hospital room. And that's uncomfortable, I've had to do that. That's friendship, that's love, yeah. that's yeah. love, yeah. 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 Aw, oh, that's, so, that's so sweet. I love this friendship. It's so nice. Especially the chemistry of that show is so great. And that even from that, you got this beautiful thing afterwards from it. That's very cool. Um, we need another break, but everybody, you got to get this. Jenna and Angela's book is called The Office, BFFs, Tales of the Office from Two Best Friends Who Were There. And it's out now.